For nearly 20 years, the National Football League ran free of competition. Following the merger in 1966, it was the only show in town. But in 1983, 12 new teams went out on their own to form the United States Football League. For three up and down seasons, the USFL expanded, bid on college stars, and played a spring schedule to keep football going year round. But by the end of 1985, it had lost more than $200 million. So the owners voted to move to a fall schedule and compete directly with the big boys, National Football League. But by the mid 80s, the NFL had negotiated contracts with all three major television networks. A fall league wasn't going to be viable for the fledgling USFL without a TV deal. And a TV deal could have eventually forced a merger, which could have been a gold mine for the USFL owners. So the USFL sued the NFL, saying it had monopolized pro football and violated antitrust law. You have three networks, and you have the NFL on all three networks. You have Pete Rozelle stating emphatically in Congress at one point in the 1960s, stating emphatically that he'd never go on all three networks. And all of a sudden, a short time thereafter, he's on all three networks. He said it would be anti-competitive to be on all three networks. And all of a sudden, he's on all three networks. The upstart league was banking on a payout or a settlement to be able to afford to play in 1986 season. Instead, the jury's decision was a punch to the gut. After 31 hours, the jury found the NFL was guilty of antitrust practices, but six members didn't know what to award in damages. So it put one dollar, yes, one single dollar on the form, hoping the judge would put a more accurate number there. But that's not how it works. The award triples in antitrust cases, but the jury's decision stood. So after a two and a half month trial, the USFL was awarded $3, even though it won the case. The NFL lost, but won. The USFL won, but lost. And now we have a single pro football league that has retained a monopoly on the highest level the game today.